All right, shoot matches. Dear Billy Bangers and Mash, you were talking about shoot matches Shoot matches on this Thursday's podcast. For those of you who didn't listen, a shoot match is a wrestling term where basically, you know, the sports entertainment, you know, it's a fake fight, even though they're really hurting each other. But, you know, it's worked out. It's sports entertainment. So technically it's fake, even though they're really throwing each other and getting hurt. It is fake. Um what happens in a shoot match is somebody fucking snaps and becomes a real fight and starts beating the shit out of the person for real. So, um, he said, if you're into those shoot matches, you should definitely look up a wrestler named new Jack. The psycho was known for frequently shooting on other wrestlers for the most minor things. In one case, he thought a tag team was trying to steal his gangster image. So he hit them with chairs, full force, stabbed them in the head with forks, etc. And in another match, he basically tries to murder a 60-something-year-old man. Those matches are brutal as fuck, man. You should check them out. I actually saw those. Yeah, that guy has, like, psychological damages. Damages? Psychological damage. Um, I knew a guy like that when I was growing up. He went to fucking cop school. <laughs> surprise, surprise. You know? Fucking maniacs who like to be violent. Like, they, they always end up somehow being bouncers and cops. I'm not saying they're all like that. I'm just saying it's like, you know, people that want to fuck kids. You know, they're all about volunteering to take them out into the woods. Not saying every cup scout master is one of them. I'm just saying, you know, people who want to beat the fuck out of people and don't want to go to jail get jobs where they have the authority to beat the fuck out of somebody. So this fucking lunatic... So he comes back from like his weekend at, at cop school and um, I don't know what he did. I, he never got accepted. They just were like tryout thing. I don't know. I can't even remember. It was so fucking long ago. So he wants to show me this move that he learned and he was doing it in slow motion. And then I remember he just fucking looked up at the ceiling. You know, do you remember how like uh, that dude in full metal jacket when he's like, I am in a world of shit private joker you know that that thing right he he fucking looked up like that and just fucking full force did the move and i heard my fucking wrist snap and um i forget how many times i punched him in the side of the head i was so fucking mad at him and i was really just mad at myself because i knew that he was one of those guys like he just fucking like like he was one of those, he was one of the exact type of personality that you do not teach that type of shit to because just, he was a dope. He never felt like he had power in life. And then he had this new move and he just couldn't handle it. It was like, you know, the whole thing when they always talk like a baby poisonous snake is the worst is worse than getting bit by an adult baby snake because the adult baby snake sort of rations out the poison where the baby just gives you fucking both barrels. That's that's what the fuck he did. He had the mentality of a fucking baby reptile is what I'm saying. And he fucking jacked up my goddamn wrist. And, um, hey, and you know what? It became a fucking shoot match. <laughs> he was supposed to just show it to me. And I just fucking drilled him in the side of the head like fucking six times as hard as I fucking could. I was so fucking mad at him. And I remember we were both drunk. Ah, that fucking idiot. God bless him. Um, anyways, moving ahead here. That was a throwback Thursday story.